I'm in the Radii Devices booth with Joshua Steer, and he's going to show us some really interesting software for trying to improve the fit of prosthetic limbs. Did I get that right? Yes, that's exactly right. So we're working with prosthetic limbs such as this, and we're trying to improve how well they fit. These sockets at the top are all bespoke to the individual and they're designed by these highly skilled clinicians. But it's really challenging to get the fit right, looking at nine visits on average. So the, the socket, for people who are unfamiliar, is the thing that what limb you have fits into, is that correct? Yes, exactly right. It acts much like a pair of shoes. So if it doesn't fit, then it causes pain as they walk around. But unlike a pair of shoes, you can just go back, try on a new size. Here they have to go through this long fitting process all over again. And do they have to remake the, the, the socket to do that? Yes, every time. So you end up in these long cycles, weeks between visits, so it can take apps months before the socket's actually fitted. So your, your goal is to get the socket fitting as good as possible right at the, at the outset, correct? Yeah, that's exactly it. We want to give the clinicians that design these devices the technology that they need to be able to improve the design and get a faster fit. Okay, so we're looking at an iPad here, and I'm going to describe a lot of stuff yeah. because it's for audio as well as yeah. video. So what are we looking at here? Okay, so here on the iPad screen, we essentially have two models. The model on the left for the camera is the design of the socket. So that's actually what the shape of the final device will be. On the right hand side we have a model of the person's limb. Across it we have a, a map of the different pressures. So It almost looks like a heat map. Yeah, exactly. It's a heat map. So the darker the red, the more pressures that predicted in that area. And so the idea is that we can actually change the shape of the device and then in real time it predicts whereabouts the pressure will be redistributed to. So he's got six sliders here that are controlled controlling the design of the socket itself and then we're watching these red spots get darker and yeah don't put it over to the right there that looked really painful yeah, exactly so you can go right over to the right there you, this would be painful but we can just you know redistribute the uh, the pressures change um, the distribution across so we're really giving we this information to the clinicians. And we can even rotate the, uh, the, the model, the heat map, if you will, to, and we're seeing the different pressure points all the way around the limb. Yes, that's exactly right. The, the limb of someone that's had an amputation is a really complicated structure, so it's very difficult to get that right fit. There's no two people on earth with the same limb. That's exactly it. It's a, it's a completely unique challenge for each individual. So the purpose of this software then, you said, would be for to get to clinicians where there'd be, you'd have sort of a first cut, yeah. and then this would be tiny adjustments that they can make that could change whether it's going to actually be comfortable for the, for the wearer. Yes, that's exactly right. So we're trying to give these clinicians information about the predicted pressures so they can understand more about the design and understand the implications because we can't get rid of the pressure. It's always going to be there. It's about putting it in the right places. Now, there's an arrow to the right, and this really blew me away when you showed me this is that what happens now is you said people's limbs change? Yes, so yeah, that's exactly. That's really making yeah. it hard. Yeah, that's exactly right. So if we just go into this menu here. Sometimes menus on iPads don't work go. upside down, go. by the way. I've yeah. noticed that. <laughs> um, but we can actually, so on the left-hand side, we have another heat map, but we can actually see, and it's difficult to do upside down, but we can actually see that the, the limb actually changes shape. So those darker blue areas on the shape show how the, the limb has actually shrunk over time. So you might have the, the perfect fitting socket one day, but then the next day you wake up and it suddenly doesn't fit anymore. So fitting these prosthetic limbs is such a complex challenge. So do you have to make a whole new prosthetic limb when that happens? Yeah, often. And you then have to go back through that whole fitting process right from scratch because at the moment this data isn't stored or captured. So by storing this history, we can, say, we can see how it's changed, where the change has been, and actually use that to further inform the design process. Wow, this is really really cool. So the name of the company again is? So it's Radii Devices. Very good. And uh, this is uh, obviously for clinicians, not for end yeah. users, but we like to look at all these interesting things coming out of the medical area. Thank you very much, Joshua. Thank you very much.